All right, y'all, we in the building. Roll the intro! Another one, it's another one, and another one. What's poppin' y'all? We are back with another video. If this is your first time here, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Subscribe. It's somewhere down there. Click the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. And make sure you turn that notification bell on so you don't miss the next time I drop another video. So, y'all, we got to talk about um, NBA Youngboy. This is just the... This has to be like the day of arrest. I know we just reported on Glorilla uh, being arrested for a DUI. And now we have um, NBA Youngboy as well. So he was arrested. So um, I'll go ahead and read to you what's being reported. And then we'll talk because I have a lot of thoughts on um, this arrest in particular. So um, it says, um, it looks like NBA Youngboy has found himself in some more legal trouble. For the past three years, Youngboy has been on strict house arrest in the state of Utah, stemming from his arrest at a music video shoot in 2020. Although he has been confirmed, I'm sorry, although he has been confined all, all that time, according to the news, um, the rapper has been arrested yet again on multiple felony charges. According to jail records from Cache County Sheriff's Office, so I'm guessing that's Utah, um, young boy was booked on several charges on Tuesday evening, April 16th, around 6.30 p.m. The charges include pattern of unlawful activity, pro procuring or attempting to procure drugs slash prescription, identity fraud, forgery, possession of other uncontrolled sub substances, and possession of a dangerous weapon by a restricted person. So as of right now, no bill has been set. Um, so yeah, that is the story guys. So also I want to know too, this isn't, um, you guys know that NBA young boy, like I just stated is on house arrest. Um, so I thought it was important for me to talk about this story. I know we normally talk about, you know, um, well, I shouldn't say, cause he is a very well-known rapper. So here's the thing. And we're going to get into that too. Also, I want to know too, this is an old mugshot. Um, I really couldn't find the new one. And I think the one that I thought was the new one, it was kind of blurry. But this is a really good picture of him, too, by the way. Um, so this is one of his, his, his older mug shots. So he does have a history of, you know, running in, having run-ins with the law. But um, I want to say this about NBA Youngboy. This is so sad because he has been on house arrest for the last three years. He's been in Utah. He's still been dropping music consistently. He is an artist that puts out music. Um, I think last year he put out maybe six albums or something like that. So, um, you know, he, he does work, but I feel like NBA Youngboy, I don't know if he doesn't have the right people around him or if he, um, it's just, if it's just him, sometimes it's just the person, but I do think, I do think that he needs help. Um, we know that he has publicly battled with, um, a drug addiction, that is something that we we know about. You know what I mean? Um, and so there's even this picture that I want to pull up too before we get too deep into the story that he posted back in November. What that was very disturbing to me. Um, but here's a picture, guys. It's very disturbing. I hope they don't even flag the channel for me even having it up. But um, I'll show it really quickly. This is NBA Youngboy here. And then he posted this on his Instagram and he says, and that's why I don't pick up my phone when it rains. So I'm like, oh, wow, that's, you know what I mean? For him to even post that, I think that um, these rappers, they go through a lot of depression. The thing about it is people don't understand that um, before the fame and the fortune and things like that, a lot of these rappers, um, they have a lot of trauma that they could have been dealing with in their past and everything. So just because they, they gain all this fame and this money and everything, that trauma that they need to heal in the inside doesn't go away. And sometimes what they do is they resort to drugs. So... Um, and it looks like it's a cup of, in that picture too, and let me just make sure, there's a cup of something there too. I don't know what that is. You know, generally when it's double cup like that, it could be um, some lean or something like that. So, um, I don't know. I can't say that to be true, but we do know those are prescription drugs laying there. So, I really want to um, just pray for NBA Youngboy. I know we don't talk about him a lot on our channel, um, but he's so consistent, and I think that... He has a really large fan base, too. So here's the thing, y'all. He has a really large fan base, although I feel like that um, mainstream media has kind of, like, pushed him out. Or maybe he's um, purposely secluded himself from, like, the mainstream media. But um, I call him the king of YouTube because I feel like he is one of the artists that you put his music out there, the YouTube, they're going to support it. So, um, and, you know, his, he just had fans everywhere. Um, before I start this video, I just wanted to see... He has so many plaques, y'all. 
Like, um, and this, again, he's an artist that I'm sure if you guys are watching this, you guys probably listen to him. You probably know people who listen to him or maybe you don't listen to him yourself, but you've heard of him. He is a huge artist, but um, he, he doesn't get like the mainstream media coverage, you know, that I feel like he deserves even when he drops and stuff like that. So um, definitely probably going to start talking about him more on my channel. I'm not going to lie because I think if I have a platform and this is an artist that I like, then, you know, I want to highlight not only, you know, their downs with him being arrested and stuff like that, but I want to highlight their highs as well. So definitely will start doing more content on him when he does give us more material as far as music goes. Um, but yeah, let me show you guys what I'm looking at right now. So I went over to the RIAA website. So um, this is gold and platinum. So you see a lot of these are double platinum, double platinum, gold, double platinum, um, a lot of these are all his plats and things like that. So he is a successful artist. And then also guys, he signed a deal for, um, I believe $60 million with, um, a record label. I can't remember which record label. And actually, let me, hey, record young boy. Let me look it up really quick. Cause y'all know I hate to be, um, I hate to be wrong when it comes to stuff like that. Yes. It was $60 million with Atlantic. So y'all know that, you know, they don't, they're not just handing out $60 million record deals. So I, like I told you, he has a really large fan base and um, they ride for him. And so he pulls in those numbers. So for them to offer him $60 million, he must be making them some kind of, kind of money, which he is. So he's a really big artist and um, his fans really do stream his music. But his, his career has been plagued with um, personal woes like drug addiction, uh, relationship issues and then run-ins with the law so i feel like he's never really gotten really a fair chance to really just blossom and become the artist that i'm sure that he can be um so it's very unfortunate and then also too y'all another thing that i wanted to point out he has 104 billboard entries as of April 8th. So, y'all, y'all know that for an artist to have 104, that means you have 104 hit songs that made the Billboard. So, that's huge, too. So, I told you guys, he is a huge artist. He's, he's a big deal, but um, he's just not highlighted a lot in, in the mainstream media. And so, um, yeah, we're praying for NBA Youngboy. I think that, you know, uh, with all the money and the fame and the fortune, I think that rehab... Uh, could be a theme because if we go back to the story, I feel like that's something that he needs to explore because if we go back to the story, um, the charges include a pattern of unlawful activity. So that's very vague. Um, that could be anything. And then procuring or attempting to procure drug prescription. And it also says identity fraud and forgery and possession of other uncontrolled substances. So, in my head, and I don't know this to be true because um, I'm just reading and I'm kind of piecing together, it looks like it could have been maybe um, getting illegal, getting the drugs and the pills and things that I showed you in the picture illegally and maybe having like a plug or something that, you know, or you're trying to, you know, bust a prescription. Y'all know. Come on now. Let's let's talk for real. We know. You know, we don't have to be so PC. We know how it go. You know, somebody at the pharmacy, they they busting a prescription down for you. You pay them the money, and you know that's that. Or you, y'all, let's let's stop playing. Let's be real. But um, that's what I'm thinking. And this is identity fraud. You know, he's worth millions of dollars, so I don't think he has to steal anyone's identity to buy anything. But if we're talking about prescription drugs, that's one thing that you have to be prescribed. So maybe something happened there. You know what I mean? We don't know. So. I'll keep you guys updated as more um, details become available on his arrest. But uh, Kentrell, that's his real name, if y'all don't know. Kentrell, we're sending you love and light right now. Um, I pray that whatever you're going through, whatever issues that you're having, that you're just able to get through them. Uh, we love you here over at our show. And I'm praying for you. And you're going to get through this as you do everything else. Um, and I pray that his family and stuff is there and surrounding him and supporting him and there for him once he is released um, to wrap their arms around him and just, you know, get him the help that he needs if a drug addiction, addiction is something that he is facing, which it looks like that could be the case. So, um, yeah, y'all, that's all I got for you on that. I want to sign out. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. Let me know in the comments um, what you guys think about this topic. Let me know if you guys know who NBA Youngboy is. Maybe some of you don't. Um, I don't know the demographic of his listeners. I know a lot of young kids are, you know, or people my age, too. Um, know him and stuff like that. But let me know uh, what you think about this story. 
And um, NBA Youngboy, are you a fan or not? And also make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you uh, like this video and also make sure that you have that notification bell on so you don't miss the next time we drop another video. I'll see y'all in the next one.